hi, welcome to this movie uh, in which we take a look how I arrived to this um, graffiti and sinus training examples. I had the idea to uh, make something uh, which gives a physical effect. I evaluated lumpy things, uh, graffiti force uh, or maybe sinus curve. I decided to make something with a sinus curve or an approximated graffiti form because this is the, uh, the most easy from this uh, example. Uh, I was not very patient with uh, creating uh, exact formulas uh, so I concentrated on the skeleton of the script and just approximated any formulas um, so I have got an effect and it has no pretension to be very co correct. So let's take a look how I tried to touch possibilities. Um, the first step was to um, uh, make uh, a script to evaluate if points are on circles and uh, this first challenge is not so easy because we can have any objects on any circles because the circles can intersect uh, each other. Uh, we got to loop each um, object group and we do this, that with the mix tool, uh, cross reference node. Uh, that is a hard one to understand, but it plays a key part by handling with different lists of objects. And so uh, that was the most important thing I learned out of this example. I just tested that with a grid of circles um, with the color um, uh, of the big circles. And if we run this, we can see the color of the big circles um, um, returns to the small circles which are on, the, uh, on these areas. Uh, the second step was to uh, make um, some kind of uh, graffiti force node. This uh, just a simple formula, an approximated formula to um, move or to get a value. Um, the, the higher the, um, the offset from the middle point, the lower the value. And if I run this, we can see the effect is that we got the scale circle outside a little scale and inside a big scale of the circle. So next, instead of changing radius, I try to move objects, um, which we've got here. Um, for that, I use the point array node to got directions to the center uh, of the circles and also I built in uh, a value to fix the height of the uh, elevation because uh, otherwise we can search our um, object somewhere on the moon or in a parallel universe with an endless value. So uh, this is fixed by uh, the middle point. Um, so let's take a look what happens if we move the point in the z-axis. Uh, we got some kind of uh, uh, pulling effect of a black hole which the uh, spheres are uh, falling down out of the grid. Also I tried out how it looks if uh, I feed these values into extrudes and uh, I'm not very happy with this result. It, it starts with a, um, a floating curve at the start, but because it, it goes to the unlimited value uh, and this uh, cut it high, it, it looks not very round, not very good. That was the reason I tried to um, replace um, this with a, a sinus curve and this uh, formula I, I got from the from one of the examples out of the community forum. The uh, challenge here was to find the start value and the end value of the curve and calculate this with the real distance of the values. Uh, at the end, a simple rule of three. Um, but uh, I already forgot what uh, what was my thought, but it seems to work. 
So um, this is that example. This is a object node which I can change the values over the uh, object info palette. And maybe let's try what happens if we change the values. It is pretty funny to play with that. This uh, extrudes can be replaced by other objects like uh, spheres. Also nice example to show. Uh, also here I can change object parameter via object info palette. Um, the wave height. Also nice this example here with a hedgehog effect um, with the same parameters uh, I can use. Uh, maybe here I can make a higher grid to make um, nicer, uh, nice looking pyramids. And last I want to um, create NURBS surfaces out of the point and uh, I found out that it's not so easy as I thought. The main problem here I had was I filtered all locus points which are on the, uh, the circles and um, there are um, some points uh, more on than on one circle. So uh, this uh, result here I got um, for all points uh, with R on circles I can't use to um, feed my uh, surface uh, because there are too much points and there are uh, would be points um, at, in the same place so that do not doesn't work so uh, the way I found out uh, for me was uh, which which works I colored the points and I create a new list out of the points at the end of the script to feed my surface. That um, worked very well. Um, also I created a object out of it to can play with the values. At least I tested also with the Cafiti uh, gravity uh, uh, curves, which is uh, the formula is I think not good enough, but um, it does something. It's not so nice uh, to to look like the sinus curve, this example, but it it works, and I'm really uh, impressed how how far uh, along I went. Uh, on my Marionette Sunday uh, morning example and I hope you had fun with these examples and I wish you a nice time. Bye bye.